I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss property 5 of Pascal's triangle which is related with sum of entries in any row with alternating signs. What we are trying to say is that normally Pascal's triangle is kind of written like this. Let me reproduce it uh, here once again. It is you have to add the previous two to get the next right so and then you know 3 3 and 1 and let's let's just build on this structure we have 1 4 6 4 and 1 and let's continue one more time so what we get here is the fifth row right so we have 1 5 and that gives you fifth row 10 uh, 10 5 and 1 now when we say that sum of entries in any row with alternating sign that means keep the first one positive then you alternate some ne negative one positive then you negative positive here negative positive negative so alternate negatives if you make kind of like this right uh, this is what we're trying to say so alternates are being made negative here so this becomes negative this becomes negative that becomes negative then what is this sum so we need to find some of these okay now for the very first one since there is only one the sum is one now here 1 minus 1 is 0 right in this case well it is 0 for 1 it is 1 correct here 1 minus 2 plus 1 so when you add them you get 2 minus 2 which is again 0 minus 3 plus 3 is 0 1 minus 1 is 0 so we again get 0 here from the symmetry also you can make out Let's add the positive numbers 1 plus 6 7 7 plus 1 8 minus 4 minus 4 is also 8 minus so when you add them you get 0 so likewise whenever you add these alternate ones with negative signs you find that the result is 0 if n is not equal to 0 right so in the first case n is equal to 0 here n equals to 1 in this case n equals to 2 and so on n equals to 5 and so on so the result is that if n is not equal to 0 in that case the sum is is 0 but if n is equal to 0 then the sum is equal to 1 right so that is the sum so when the entries are alternating in that case the sum is either 0 or 1 if n is the zeroth row in that case the sum is one and in all other rows it is the sum is zero so this is the summary of it in general we can use the summation symbol to uh, to write this up right so we can say when r is from zero to n this is minus one times ncr right so so we are doing n CR that is the general term so minus 1 to the power of R and CR I mean uh, I should have written this separately correct so minus 1 to the power of R so every alternate term will become negative correct so minus 1 this is this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 correct so that is how it is if you add them up you'll get 0 if R is not equal to 0 I mean if n is not equal to 0 but if n is more than 0 in that case the sum is 0 because they cancel out so that is what is the property 5 that is sum of entries in any row with alternating signs will be either 1 or 0 it is going to be 1 for n equals to 0 but otherwise it will be 0 I hope that helps thank you and all the best